whenever we talk about HIPAA compliance, then the first thing that comes to the mind is PHI. What is PHI? What is protected health information? And what is EPHI? These are terms which are used nowadays. And we have to understand before understanding the HIPAA compliance. So first of all, let us understand what is protected health information. Okay. So here, as you can see in this example, all the different types of identifiers define the protected health information because all these examples can individually identify can individually identify any of the individual guys because these are also called as PHI identifiers. Okay. Now, after this, what is EPHI? EPHI is Electronic Protected Health Information. So EPHI is any protected health information that is created, stored, transmitted, or received electronically through digital mediums. Okay. The difference between EPHI and PHI is under EPHI, electronic protected health information, if you are using any medium in order to store, in order to transmit or receive PHI electronically, then it is called as EPHI. Otherwise, what all falls under PHI? Identifiers is names. Vehicle identifiers, dates, date of birth, address, social security number, medical record number, IP addresses, email addresses, biometric identifiers, fingerprints, your test results, whatever uh, medical examination results that you are going through or undertaking, any of your uh, IP addresses, fax numbers, account numbers, all these are different examples of PHI identifiers. Again, what is PHI? PHI is protected health information because it can easily identify an individual. Okay. Also known as HIPAA identifiers. Okay. So that's why you have to understand this concept of PHI. EPHI and what what all is uh, you know related to any individual. So this is this is also a classified protected health information because it is critical for a patient. Okay, that's why it is classified information because PHI is any individual's identifiable health information. Okay. So now you can understand the kind of criticality for PHI. Okay. And I hope all these identifiers are clear to you. If you have any questions about the PHI identifiers, if you have any questions about EPHI, if you have any questions around, uh, you know, uh, HIPAA compliance, because the next uh, uh, video will be on HIPAA compliance, feel free to add in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much for the comment, uh, SG. And uh, really appreciate you taking out the time to watch the videos. Feel free to like and feel free to share the videos. The more you share, the more people will get this information. Thank you so much.